My name is Diane Folingstad. I'm actually the wife of the artist, not the artist. The artist is Al Scovern. Um, what he does is one-of-a-kind stoneware wheel-thrown pottery. And what he attempts to do, um, piece by piece, is to come up with something that is unique. And what he does that is also different from a lot of potters is he does not use any glazes. He gets his effects from um, smoke, carbon, from metals, from, I'm trying to think, salt, sugar, uh, any number of things like that, but he does not use glazes. So what I always say is that he throws, as you can tell by looking at his pottery, very precisely and comes up with these beautiful forms, but he likes the spontaneous finish. He wants things to look unique, different, one of a kind. There are four different ways that he finishes his pottery. These reds, very difficult to get, are done with an iron solution, which he then places the pot in aluminum foil for the second firing. And that iron solution fumes and swirls around and you get these unique colors. Then the black and whites are called naked raku. This is formed simply from smoke or carbon getting into cracks of a crust that he's made outside of the pot. And they seep in there, carbon gets in there, and gets right into the clay and forms those designs. So nature forms the designs. The ones back here and the ones over here, people often recognize as horsehair. Uh, he's a little different from most people with horsehair. He likes to form the design as opposed to just throwing the tails, the long tail hairs of horses at the pots. Um, so you can see he's into making the designs. Um, and then this last group, these are what I call his mystery pots, because once he's made them, he puts them inside another larger clay pot. He uses um, a copper carbonate, salt, wood. Um, these, this is steel wool that he uses. This is a copper wire. And these, to me, can come out with some bluish tints or this beautiful coral or more of a pearlescent. And that's all from the same process. So again, you just never quite know what it's going to look like. If people look at his pots, they see two things. They see kind of a Southwest Navajo Pueblo Indian. And the other thing you see is something of an Asian look. So those seem to be his two inspirations. I think he would say that this is a one-of-a-kind piece that you will like for a very long time. It's not the kind of thing you walk away from a fair and a year later, you're not so sure. These last. These, um, the beauty of them lasts. They go in many different types of decors, and we hope it would just be a piece, a thing of beauty forever.